An ongoing fight over a 2015 abortion waiting period law in Florida swung in favor of the state this week. The First District Court of Appeals rejected a motion from plaintiffs to again block the 24-hour waiting period law. The American Civil Liberties Union has maintained the law unjustly burdens women. They should not be forced to delay the procedure. They should not be forced to uh, undertake the additional costs and burdens of having to take more time off work. The first district court of appeals lifted the injunction against the law in late February. The 2015 Senate sponsor says the legislature didn't pass an unconstitutional law. I think that any time that anyone would deal with any sort of major medical procedure, and this is not only a medical procedure, but a very emotional time, to just have 24 hours to reflect on whether or not this is the best decision is something that's important. The groups opposed to the law have already appealed the decision to the Florida Supreme Court. A similar fight could be brewing this year. The legislature passed an abortion clinic restriction bill heavily opposed by pro-choice groups. Part of the bill requires doctors to have admitting privileges at hospitals. A similar requirement in Texas shut down half of that state's abortion clinics. The Texas version of the bill is being challenged in the U.S. Supreme Court. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.